When it comes to making video to video content using stable diffusion, the big challenge is face and particularly lip tracking. This isn't as much of a problem if you are transforming a TikTok dance video into an alien dancing. But if your video involves a talking head or a character singing, then lip sync accuracy becomes necessary. This has been a big problem for those of us that use the deform extension as well as many other video to video applications. I have been working with others to bring video to video warping and similar workflows to the comfy UI platform. For many of us, the lip sync problem has become the holy grail of development. In the past, the only success that I had was with mask tracking and face replacement. Although I could make this work at some level, it was complicated to set up, and it limited or eliminated the ability to change features of the face, like skin and eye color and the like. Thanks to the brilliance of Dr. LT Data, this problem is now a thing of the past. He or she, no one knows for sure since their videos are silent, has added the Inspire pack of nodes to their GitHub offerings. These new nodes allow you to add control net capability in the form of open pose and canny to their already awesome segs detailers. After spending some time adjusting the parameters on the example workflow and adding a few animation nodes, I was able to come up with the results that you are seeing here. A quick shout out to Susie, Atticat, and Rocky at Comfy Roll and also to Mel of MTB Nodes for the great nodes used for this animation. I will soon be offering this as well as several other Comfy UI workflows in conjunction with Comfy Roll. If you want to learn more about this and all things dealing with artificial intelligence in music and video production, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to our channel. The development progress of Comfy moves at lightning speed. Even before I had finished rendering the previous video, Dr. Data had added additional strength to his detailer by adding support for MediaPipe control net. I reworked the workflow adding this enhancement as well as better flow continuity. I think that you will agree that these improvements are pretty awesome. Seeing how much better the updated output was, I decided to rework the entire workflow. I am working on a new video that should be ready soon that will show you significantly better results and I will also provide a detailed tutorial and links to the completed workflow. Thanks for your patience and again, thanks to Dr. LT Data and Comfyroll for their assistance in this project.